Hello everyone, welcome to the series of data analysis using Excel. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to generate cross tabulation or contingency table in Excel. You can find more videos on SPSS, RStudio, Econometrics, Excel, Statistics, Mathematical Economics and Economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Now, what is the use of contingency table or cross tabulation? It is used when we have two categorical variables and we want to uh, find the uh, or we want to represent the data in table form. So here you can see I have two nominal variables or categorical variables, gender and stream. In gender, I have two categories, male and female. In stream, I have three categories, arts, science and management. So categories of one variable determine the number of rows. Categories of another variable determine the number of columns. So since we have uh, two variables in gender, we have two rows and we have three uh, categories in stream and therefore we have the three columns. So now how to generate it? So you go to insert. In insert, we have the option of pivot table. So select pivot table. Here you need to give the range. So select the range. In choose where you want the pivot table to be placed, select existing worksheet so that you can uh, see the pivot table in the same worksheet and then select the range and simply click on OK. Now, once you click on OK, this dialog box will appear on your screen. You can see this dialog box pivot table fields. So here you have rows and here you have columns. So select gender and drag it to rows box. Now you can see you have two rows, uh, female and male. Select stream and move it to the columns box. And now here we need to select something in values. So you can select either number of gender or I mean count of gender or count of stream. So I'm selecting stream. So you can see count of stream is selected here. And now here we have the pivot table or cross tabulation. So you can check we have total 17 female. See this. And 13 male. Out of this 17, Five females are in arts, seven in management and five in science. Out of 13 male students, three are in arts, five in management and five in science. If you select gender here in values, so I'm removing, removing it and then select gender. Again, we'll get the same answer. So this is our cross tabulation. Now, if you click on this arrow and suppose you don't want arts in your cross tabulation. So you uncheck the arts box and simply click on OK and you can see arts column is now not available. If you select arts and now you uncheck science then you don't have the science column. So this is how you can use the uh, cross tabulation in uh, Excel. So this is the idea of cross tabulation. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.